friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Monday, so it is meal prep day. I have three delicious recipes for you, breakfast, lunch, and a sweet treat. So if you're excited for meal prep, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do a meal prep every single Monday. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend taking advantage of that if you haven't yet. Really important to know what you should be eating every day to be successful. If you want to chat with me directly, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to everything I shared with you in today's video, as well as all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group, we'd love to have you join us over there as well, are down in the description box. So let's jump in to this week's meal prep. breakfast this week I am making cornmeal muffins with roasted red peppers and feta cheese these sound so good these would actually be a really good side dish or even lunch but I'm gonna have these for breakfast along with some fruit so let me show you what's in our recipe first you're going to need salt roasted red bell peppers cornmeal baking powder chives garlic powder eggs almond meal not almond flour but almond meal almond milk, cottage cheese, and feta cheese. So to start with our breakfast muffins, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of cottage cheese. And then I'm going to crack in five eggs. And one quarter cup of almond milk. And then we're going to whisk that or stir that together until mixed. Now for the rest of our ingredients, we have a quarter cup of cornmeal one cup of almond meal, one cup of roasted diced red bell peppers. That is the entire jar. I'm going to add a pinch of salt, one half of a cup of crumbled feta, one teaspoon of baking powder, garlic powder, and you can use fresh or dried chives. Now stir that together. You wanna to make sure everything is incorporated together really well. So here is what the mixture should look like once it's all stirred together. The recipe says this makes nine muffins, so either line or spray nine muffin cups. I'm going to use my scoop here and just scoop the mixture in and divide it evenly between all nine. Our muffins are going into a 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes. We wanna make sure that, that the tops are nice and browned and the eggs are cooked all the way through. So here are the muffins. These look delicious. These smell absolutely delicious. I'm going to let them sit for a few minutes, cool off a little bit. I'll pop them out of the muffin cup liners and we'll go over points and calories. Here are the muffins. Again, these look delicious. I set one aside to have for breakfast this morning. So let's go over points and calories. Each one of the cornmeal muffins is only four points on the blue and purple plan, five on the green plan, and 160 calories a piece. So my plan is to have one of these muffins with some fresh fruit, and that's going to be a perfect breakfast. lunch this week I'm making a pulled pork bowl with avocado slaw this sounds so incredibly delicious so let me show you what's in our recipe first you're going to need some shredded cabbage or coleslaw mix a fresh lime avocados pulled pork or pork tenderloin I'm actually going to put my pork tenderloin into my instant pot to cook it and then I'll shred it and make my own pulled pork fresh cilantro honey salt and pepper 
non-fat Greek yogurt and frozen or fresh corn. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my pulled pork cooked up here in my Instant Pot. So I just added it with just a little bit of water, about a half of a cup, and I'm going to pop this onto pressure cook until the meat is cooked through. So the pork tenderloin is done in the Instant Pot. So I'm going to take it out. It is pretty solid because it is a tenderloin. There's not a lot of fat on it. So in the event that I can't shred it, I'm going to at least dice it up for the bowls. So we're going to start putting together the avocado slaw. So we're starting with 5.3 ounces of non-fat Greek yogurt. I just weighed mine out on my food scale. A quarter cup of fresh lime juice, one teaspoon of honey, one quarter cup of chopped cilantro, some salt and pepper. And then stir that together. You want the sauce to be well mixed before we add in the coleslaw and the avocado. Now we're going to add three cups of coleslaw mix or shredded cabbage. Stir that up, get that cabbage coated in the sauce. Now we're going to gently fold in one large avocado diced. So here's what the avocado slaw looks like. This by itself, looks incredible. So our entire recipe makes only four servings. So I'm going to take one fourth of the avocado slaw and place it in the bottom of my meal prep bowl. And then I'm going to take one fourth of the pork and put it on top. And then I have a one cup of corn here. I'm going to take about a quarter of that. So about a quarter of a cup and add that to the top as well. And the original recipe also calls for cherry tomatoes if you wanted to add those. But I'm not the biggest tomato fan, so I'm going to go ahead and skip it. So this is what the bowl looks like. So when we go to eat it, we will stir it up. You can add some additional salt and pepper, but let's put together the other three meal preps. are the chipotle inspired pork avocado slaw bowls so let's go over the points and the calories so i have one pound of the pork total it's about a quarter of a pound per bowl the points and calories include the large avocado as well so it is six points per bowl on all plans 295 calories just so you know, this has almost 40 grams of protein. So this is an excellent protein packed lunch. For a sweet treat this week, I am making easy skinny strawberry oatmeal bars. These sound so incredibly delicious, very summer, very fresh. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some strawberries, sweetener alternative of your choice. Of course, I'm using the Lakanto monk fruit. As always, Lakanto is down in the description box with 15% off, so you can stock up on all your favorite sweeteners. All-purpose flour, rolled oats. I also have the Lakanto powdered sugar, Lakanto brown sugar, coconut oil, vanilla, lemon juice, salt, ginger, cinnamon, and cornstarch. So to get started on our bars, I'm going to add seven tablespoons of the Lakanto brown sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon or more in my case of cinnamon, and then a quarter of a teaspoon of ginger, a pinch of salt, one and a quarter cup of rolled oats, and three quarters of a cup of flour, and then go ahead and stir that together until your dry ingredients are mixed. Then we're going to add in three tablespoons of melted coconut oil and about half a teaspoon of vanilla. Stir that together again. This time it should resemble similar to a crumble. So here is what your mixture should look like. You can see that it's crumbly. What we're going to do is reserve about three quarters of a cup of the mixture and the rest we're going to press into the bottom of an eight by eight baking dish. I'm going to line my eight by eight baking dish with some parchment paper. I like to crinkle it up first. I feel like it just lays a little bit better in the pan. And then we do want some edges hanging over. Now we're going to press that mixture into the bottom of our baking dish. Now we're going to scatter about half of the chopped up strawberries 
over the top. I did 10 ounces total of strawberries. We're going to scatter about a half of a teaspoon of cornstarch over the strawberries. About a teaspoon of the monk fruit sweetener and half of a tablespoon or so of lemon juice. I'm going to now put the rest of the strawberries right on top. Now sprinkle on the remaining one teaspoon of your monk fruit, the remaining half a teaspoon of cornstarch, and the remaining one tablespoon or so of lemon juice. And then we're going to go ahead and top the bars with the three quarters of a cup of the crumble that we set aside. We're going to bake the bars in an oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes or until the crumble on top is nice and golden brown. But these absolutely look delicious. I just pulled out the strawberry bars. I'm going to allow them to cool completely. I am going to make a glaze for the top. So I'm gonna pull out the bars. The parchment paper over the edge will allow me to easily pull the bars out of the pan. That should help them cool a little faster. I can't wait for these. I'm going to go ahead and put together the glaze. So in my bowl, I have one half of a cup of the Lakanto powdered sugar. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then some lemon juice. Make sure you don't add too much liquid. So I'm going to add just that little bit, stir it, and then continue to add in lemon juice until you have your desired consistency. And this looks absolutely perfect. I even like that caramely color that it has. So we're just going to drizzle this on top of the bars. There are the bars. These look absolutely delicious. This whole entire pan of bars makes eight servings. It is five points per bar on all plans, which is not bad at all. And that includes the coconut oil. That's going to help bind the bar together. So make sure that you're not skipping that step. They're only 135 calories a piece. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed all three recipes that I shared with you today. As always, you can find today's recipes on my recipe website. I will link that at the top of the description box, along with nutrition coaching links and discussion counts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, head on over and join us there. Also, if you enjoyed today's meal prep, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Happy Monday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.